in this video we will start with quadratic equation chapter and in this chapter i will teach you all solving the quadratic equation by factorization method and even i will give you tricks so that you will not get confused with the signs while you are solving the quadratic equations by factorization method first of all before we start solving the quadratic equations by factorization method the most important thing is you all have to do is to memorize this table and to know how this table will help you all watch this video till the end firstly i will teach you all the six steps of solving quadratic equations by factorization method for this let us take our first example that is x square plus 27x plus 26 is equal to 0 before solving this equation let us convert this equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 in our case a is equal to 1 b is equal to 27 and c is equal to 26 so in any quadratic equation which has to be solved by factorization method first thing is to find the factors of c term such that on adding or subtracting these factors of c should give us p so the factors of 26 are 26 into 1 and it also on adding gives us the middle term which is 27 which satisfies our first rule after finding the factors of c term that is 26 the first step is to write the factors of c term which is 26 in the place of the b term that is 27x along with the signs such that the given equation x square plus 27x plus 26 is equal to 0 becomes x square plus 26x plus 1x plus 26 is equal to 0. Important tip is that always write greater number first and then the next number. Second step is to take out the common terms so that the above step will get converted into x in bracket x plus 26 plus 1 in bracket x plus 26 is equal to 0 as shown. Important tip is that always make sure the terms in both the brackets should be exactly same along with the signs. Third step is to take x plus 26 as one term and x plus 1 as another term which will look like x plus 26 in one bracket and x plus 1 in another bracket is equal to 0 as shown. Fourth step is to take each term individually equal to 0 which will appear like x plus 26 in one bracket is equal to 0 or x plus 1 in another bracket is equal to 0. Fifth step which is also the last step is to find the value of x and to obtain the value of x the term which is in number is shifted to the another side and when it gets shifted to the another side the sign changes so plus 26 becomes minus 26 and plus 1 becomes minus 1 friends these are the five steps which have to be followed while solving the quadratic equations by factorization method friends now i will show you all how the overall equation when solved by previously explained five steps will resemble like and you all can have a look first equation was easy as it was having only plus sign so what if the equation has plus as well as minus sign so which sign should be applied to which factor is the question arises so let us understand let's take the example of such a equation that it contains plus as well as minus sign so the example of such a equation is x square minus 15x plus 54 is equal to 0 according to our first rule the factors of 54 are 
18 into 3 and also 6 into 9. So first, let's take 18 into 3 and solve the equation. If we take 18 into 3, then applying minus to 18 and plus to 3 will give us our middle term which is minus 15x. So now let's solve the equation by previously explained steps. Given equation is x square minus 15x plus 54 is equal to 0. Writing the factors of 54 in the place of minus 15x according to our first step, the equation will get converted into x square minus 18x plus 3x plus 54 is equal to 0. Now, as per the second step, we have to take the common factors so that the above equation will get converted into x in bracket x minus 18 plus 3x in bracket x plus 18 is equal to 0. Now, have you all remembered while I was explaining the five steps of solving quadratic equations by factorization method, I had told you all that in the second step the terms in both the brackets should be exactly same along with the signs. Here in one bracket it is x minus 18 while in another bracket it is x plus 18. You all can easily see the difference of signs as one bracket is having minus sign while the other is having plus sign. This means if we will continue solving this equation, then it will going to be anyways wrong. So, we will end solving this equation here only and start solving this equation by using new factors and also applying the appropriate sign. So, our equation will be solved correctly. In the beginning of this video, I have told you all to buy hard this table. Now, I will tell you all the importance of this table. There are two columns in this table. In first column, it is written as from question, meaning from this column, you all have to check the signs given in the question or equation and from the answer column, you all have to apply the signs correspondingly to the factor as per the signs of given question or equation. Now. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Here we are going to take example of the very first equation which we have already solved. Here it is x square plus 27x plus 26 is equal to 0. This given equation consists of plus plus signs, correct? Now look into the table. The signs corresponding to plus plus signs from question column in the answer column are also plus plus. So the factors of 26 will consist of plus plus signs which we have already applied to the factors and solved the equation before. Now have you all understood the importance of this table while solving the quadratic equations by factorization method. So friends, let's solve the previous equation x square minus 15x plus 54 is equal to 0 which was pending. Factors of 54x which we will be going to take are 9 and 6 and referring to the table we will apply corresponding signs. So in the question there are minus and plus signs. So the signs corresponding to minus plus signs are minus minus signs as per the table. So applying minus to 9 and also minus to 6, let's move to the first step which is x square minus 9x minus 6x plus 54 is equal to 0. Before moving to the second step, I want to explain you all one very important thing. Whenever there will be a minus sign outside the bracket, the sign inside the bracket will change. For example, Suppose we take a simple equation just for the understanding purpose which is minus 3x in bracket x plus 15. 
so in the next step the sign will change x plus 15 in the bracket will get changed into x minus 15 so the next step of this simple equation will be minus 3x in bracket x minus 15 understood this simple logic we will going to apply in the second step so second step will get transformed into x in bracket x minus 9 minus 6 in bracket x minus 9 0 moving to the third step which is in bracket x minus 9 in bracket x minus 6 is equal to 0 then fourth step which is x minus 9 in bracket is equal to 0 or x minus 6 in bracket is equal to 0 and finally in the fifth step obtaining the value of x we get x is equal to plus 9 and x is equal to plus 6 as a roots of a given quadratic equation So friends, this was my session of solving quadratic equations using factorization method which is so easy. If you have any doubt regarding this video or any suggestion then please let me know in the comment section. And if this video has helped you all in any way then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And guys one more thing, if you all want to learn how to find factors of any number then please let me know in comment section i will definitely make video on that which is super easy and super fast till then bye thank you